Hello everyone and welcome to Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now today I've got a really pretty card for you that you can create using any sort of watercolour or water reactive inks that you may have. Now I'm going to be using my watercolour inks. These are concentrated liquid that I bought from Craft Stash. Um, these used to be under the Textures brand, they're now under the Creative Craft Products range and I'm only using the uh, magenta sort of colour and the blue and I believe these are both in the bright set. So I've put um, a blue in there, just a drop, a, red, a pink in there and again just a drop and then a tiny little drop of both in here to create a purple. Now I've got watercolour cardstock, again Creative Craft Products cardstock, I'll link this down below. I've got some clean water and two brushes. So um, yeah, let's get started. It's really, really simple. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to pop some dots of the concentrated liquid onto my card and I'm going to scatter around the colour. So I'm going to use blue in some instances and rather than um, cleaning my brush because I want to keep the water clean, I'm going to uh, just wipe off Oops, I've just gone and done it there, out of habit. <laughs> I'm just going to mostly wipe off the paint instead. So scattering some colour there and then into the pink. Lastly, so let's do a pink there, a pink here. And this will all become clear in just a moment. And maybe one down here. Okay, so now let's pop that brush there. Try to remember not to put that in the water. Now you can allow these drops to dry and you can still do the technique, it's just much easier while it's wet. Now I've got what we call a pointed brush, so it's larger at one end and as you can see pointed at the other. I'm going to take a good amount of water and I'm just going to, for each one, just touch the tip on the bristles there and then drag that out. Okay, and I'm going to do that around each flower probably five or six times. I'm not worried too much about exactly how much. So these will be varying petals and they're also going to be overlapping. Now if you've got any like this that are um, quite watery, that's good. I like that. Now before the ink dries, I'm just going to splatter with some blue. There was quite a lot of pink in there. I think my purple was more pink than blue, so I've just added some splats. And I'm going to let that dry. Now this always looks a lot better once it's dried. So now my watercolour's dry, and obviously I'm not including drying time in the five minutes, really. That's just the creating the background, and as I say, you can create multiple backgrounds uh, all at once which obviously make your cards much quicker in the long run um, so once that's dry I'm just going to map this onto a coordinating piece of cardstock I've gone for the dark purple I'm just gluing this down and then I'm going to glue that onto a watercolour cardstock base now I tend to if I've used watercolour cardstock which is often more of an ivory colour than a white um, if I've used that for the front of my card I will also use the same cardstock for the back it just uh, makes it more harmonious and also if I was to use a bright white sort of smooth cardstock base it just wouldn't quite look right it would make the watercolour cardstock look ever so yellow so I've got that then I've got myself some uh, simple letters these are just some alphabet letters these are from my textures um, steampunk collection so I'm going to be placing these onto the edge of a ruler they're already on adhesive foam I did that in advance I tend to have a lot of these already made up but you can choose any sentiment you wish and to get my spacing I'm going to place them on the edge of a ruler or anything that's uh, s flat and straight like this so it could be the edge of a piece of acetate something where uh, it will peel off nice and quickly so I just place these on and then I'll position them on my card front so work out where that's going to go. The way I decided which was going to be the top and bottom is this area is much heavier with uh, colour and inks and this one, this much lighter. So to me the heavier should always be the bottom. Place that about a third of the way up the card, making sure that I've got that central. Press those down and gently release them from the ruler. And then I've just got my word beautiful is going to go, I think I'll put that about here on the card, there we go. So 
there is my completed card with my very own background. The background takes about five minutes to create, set them aside and then come back and construct the cards when you've got a batch of them. I hope you enjoyed this everybody. Please do join me for other Friday five minute makes and you can check out the rest of the playlist here if you've missed any and I'd love it if you could subscribe as well.